Well, some positive results coming out of OK Zimbabwe, beating market expectations. Uh, talk us through some of the major contributors to the high earnings. Yes, good afternoon, Mashudu. We saw uh, definitely a pleasing set of results coming from that retail giant OK. Uh, turnover up 25% to 231.2 million. PBT up 26% to 4.9 million. Uh, what the management was saying yesterday at the briefing was that um, the growth is uh, largely coming from increased footprint or increased, increased uh, market share in the economy. They've been uh, sort of uh, getting market share from some of the retailers that have been closing shop uh, as a result of the liquidity crunch that has been affecting the economy local-wise. We saw SPA uh, has been affected and it has been closing some of its branches, so they've taken advantage of that. Also, uh, another uh, major competitor that has failed uh, over, over the past few months is Afrofood. Mm -hmm. uh, which, which, has, which had taken a significant market share since 2009, but they, they've been folding uh, as, as the dollarization continues. So they've been eating into competitors, um, and, and they've, they've definitely benefited from that. Um, let's look at, uh, like you say, um, they have uh, gained a market share over the past uh, couple of months, uh, but uh, what will the entry of the likes of uh, Pick and Pay have on, uh, on uh, OK Zimbabwe going forward? Well, so far, Pick and Pay has only opened uh, one shop, and um, its impact is not yet uh, felt because it's at, um, a shop that was once uh, uh, owned by TM. Mm -hmm. But uh, going forward, uh, they, there's a hint that there could be com competition creeping in. Uh, there are some small players that have already uh, started having an impact on, on the margins in the retail sector. So definitely going forward, we think Pick and Pay is going to, to invest heavily. Uh, in, in, in other shops, they, they, there's talk that they, they may be uh, opening an additional five uh, shops in the country. And if that is going to happen, I think the brand is quite strong to draw some customers away from, from uh, OK Zimbabwe. I'll be to say that uh, the OK continues to invest heavily in the market. Mm -hmm. Over the past six months, they, they, they spend $7.35 million, and they, they are actually planning to open another two shops uh, in Victoria Falls and Wange. So the, the competition is coming in, but we think OK is, is, is preparing for that. Indeed, uh, competition as well as uh, the company uh, having such a large market share in Zimbabwe. What kind of uh, uh, backdrop are these uh, retailers operating in right now? I uh, didn't get that question. The operating environment for retailers right now in Zimbabwe. OK, the, the, the major challenge has been on the liquidity side. Uh, I think we all saw the, the national budget is uh, clearly ending on that. The 2013 budget, uh, the Minister of Finance uh, clearly alluded the fact that the liquidity uh, crunch would remain with us uh, going forward. Uh, total revenue for the government is only expected to grow to 3.8 billion from 3.6 billion, which is not really significant. And uh, if we look at the economic growth of only 5%, uh, compared to the 9.4 percent that had been projected for this year, uh, it just shows an economy that is starting to slow down. Um, and for, 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 for the retail market, the major customers are the, the, the simple consumers who, who are drawn from the, the, the working class. But we find that the jobs have not been coming through. We have actually had uh, companies retrenching and some companies actually closing shop. So the, the environment has been quite stiff. Also the fact that the manufacturing sector in the country has not really be, become recapitalized to, to, to sufficiently uh, supply the local retail market to find that for, for OK, they actually reported that 65% of the merchandise was coming from South Africa. So that's, mm -hmm. the, that's, um, it means that the, the supply line becomes a, a bit uh, challenging, especially when you look at what was happening in South Africa when there was those uh, strikes on transport and so forth that uh, mm -hmm. actually disturbed the supply chain. So the, the, the environment is quite actually challenging as, as we speak. Well, quite challenging uh, retail environment in Zimbabwe. And uh, when you look at OK with these rather positive uh, numbers, how do they compare to the other retailers uh, on the local market? I think it okay, uh, appeared to be to, to be a major, a major force to, to, to contend with. If you compare the, the, the nearest rival that they have is TM, but uh, TM has sort of uh, not really invested that much over, over, over the, the, the dollarization period compared to OK. Uh, the other competitor is, uh, is SPA, but SPA is having its own challenges. 
So in, in terms of competition, uh, there's um, really not much at the moment, but I think going forward, it's a, it's a market that has uh, attracted investment due to the fact that uh, there's access to cash flow. And cash flow is the major problem in the country because if you've got access to cash, uh, they, they, there's some strategic uh, things that you can use it with. So it's, it's an area that has attracted investment. Uh, the major challenge uh, is that um, the, 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 the spending power is uh, limited at the moment. So I think going forward, the competition may be cream, creeping in, but uh, I think OK is, is, is well geared for that. So uh, you're expecting even better results to come out of OK in the second half of the year? It will be a mixed performance. Uh, I think it all depends on what happens to the economic side. Mm -hmm. uh, next year, we are likely to, to have uh, elections, and mm -hmm. um, the, 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 the economic growth is... Uh, sort of uh, responded negatively to those elections. Uh, we have seen the, the revenue side not performing. So the second half, yes, we are optimistic, but I think the, the, the growth will certainly slow down as we move uh, into the second half. Well, looking at the overall market uh, right now, uh, where are you placing your money anymore? Is it still in the retailers or are you moving into the mining sector? I think the retail sector is still an investment case. Uh, we have got OK, we have got Mikus, we have got Edgars. They, they, they've been um, a major companies to, to, to look at uh, so there's still some money to, to be made from those counters uh, I think the manufacturing sector the likes of Delta also and the telecoms in terms of Econet are still uh, areas where in investors are having a, a look at